right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to do another bow burnham because. I only just discovered this stuff recently and it's blown my mind. The stuff is great. It's just so well done as well. It's just it's got it's just got such a uh, a vibe about it. It's um yeah, it's great. So it's really struggling with something to say then and clearly I couldn't think of anything. It was literally like my head was just went nah. No words for you here. No words. But um, this is going to be, can't handle this. Kanye ran. You can't handle the truth, way. You can't handle I think that's the kind of rant he went on, wasn't it? Old Kanye. He loves a rant. Um, so, excuse me. I had to have a gone for that. Try and calibrate my thoughts. Um, yeah, thank you to everyone that's been subbing the page. Nearly out of houses. Like just shy of 200 away from a thousand subscribers, which is mind blowing to be honest. Mind blowing. I've just had the, I don't know what I'm gonna do after I've got a thousand. I've had the number a thousand in my head for nine months now. I've been like, oh, if I get to a thousand, I get to a thousand. You know, I'm gonna get to a thousand. And um, yeah, I feel like the, the, the what's it, the Joker's here? I'm like a dog. Like a dog chasing a car. I don't know what I'd do if I catch him. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do at a thousand. I'll probably, uh, probably have a beer. Probably say, you know. But no, I think uh, when I hit a thousand, I might change some stuff up a little bit. Maybe I'm still going to do this, but I might do movie reactions. I might watch entire movies and do that. Um, I'm into films. Probably a lot of, there's a lot of films I haven't seen. I'm quite a creature of habit. So I watch predominantly a lot of the same films again. I must have seen Goodfellas like a million times. I've seen, you know, Jojo Rabbit like a million times. I've seen Fight Club a million times. I've seen The Goonies, you know, I've seen all the, uh, you know, and I'm very much a creature of habit. I watch the same stuff quite a lot, a big lot. I need to watch something different. So I might do that and just go on a journey with people that enjoy films. I, I really do appreciate films and frames and soundtracks and acting and, Stuff like that. So uh, yeah, anyway, chatting absolute shit about irrelevant stuff about this video. So yeah, Bo Burnham, can't handle this. Let's go. I went to Kanye West's recent tour, the Yeezus tour. It was a big, dramatic, theatrical show. He did something very strange at the end of his show where he ranted for like 20 minutes. It was kind of a rant, kind of a song. He had auto-tune on his voice and there was an instrumental in the background, like this instrumental. He talked about his problems, race, power. His $90 t-shirts weren't selling very well. That was most of it. And I watched this. I thought maybe I could do this. I'll be honest, my problems are not as high stakes as Kanye's, but I have problems. And maybe a crowd in New York would be nice enough to indulge me. So as we get to the end of a night of theater, and comedy and sweaters coming on and off. I got one question for you. And that question is Can I say my shit? New York, can I say my shit? I got lots of shit to say. I got lots of shit to say. Fit my hand inside a Pringle can. I have a huge amount of trouble fitting my hand inside of a Pringle can. I can get my hand like four inches into the can, but then I have to tilt the can into my mouth. But by that point, a bunch of crumbs have accumulated at the bottom of the can. So they all go spill it on my face. What I'm trying to say is the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. I'll say it again, the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. Two radiuses of a Pringle can is way too small. If you feel me, put your hands up. 
Come on. If you feel me, put your hands up. Look at all these hands that are way too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. You think you can, I know you can. You think you can. Pringles, listen to the people. I am sure 90% of the complaint letters you get are about the width of your cans. Just make them wider. I've overdone the Pringles thing. Sorry. I wanna have a daughter. Wanna have a daughter. So I can finally have someone around the house who can fit their hands in a Pringle can. Yes, I'm still on the Pringle cans thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll move on, all right? But that is priority numero uno. I don't go to the gym because I'm self-conscious about my body. But I'm self-conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. Irony can be so painful. That's a catch-22. Let's do this. Genius. Genius. I went to Chipotle. Went to Chipotle. Got myself a chicken burrito. I went down the line. I got like all these ingredients. And then at the end of the line, the guy tried to wrap the burrito. But half of the shit inside the burrito spilled out. He still wrapped it. I was like, dude, you should have warned me. You're a burrito expert. You should have told me halfway through. Hey, man, you might be reaching maximum burrito capacity here. Do you think I want a messy burrito? No one wants a messy burrito. The whole appeal of a burrito is that all of the ingredients are contained within the confines of the tortilla. I wouldn't have gotten half this shit if I knew it was going to fit in the burrito. All right, look. I wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit. I wouldn't have got, 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 got half of it like I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. But I'll blow my dad before I eat a burrito with a fork. Wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit. Would they get the cheese if I knew I wouldn't? Would they get the peppers if I knew they wouldn't? Man, I wouldn't have got half a bit like Half a bit like, half a bit like Half a bit like, half a bit right now I think it's time, I think it's time I bet we break it down Wow, the production, I, I know it's just here before with some keys playing, but He's just killing it, it's exactly like I'm low key forgetting that there's funny shit in this, and I'm like, I'm like waiting for a beat to drop. Maybe a beat will drop. Imagine that. <laughs> Sit here and pretend like my biggest problems are Pringle cans and burritos. The truth is my biggest problem's you. I want to please you, but I want to stay true to myself. I want to give you the night out that you deserve, but I want to say what I think and not care what you think about it. A part of me loves you. Part of me hates you. Part of me needs you. Part of me fears you And I don't think that I can handle this right now Handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now Look at them, they're just staring at me like Come and watch the skinny kid with a steadily declining mental health And laugh as he attempts to give you what he cannot give himself Wow Wow The way he can shift emotion like that is a gift because I felt that what he said there. It's that's very that's very real. 
and he lures you in, which I found with some some of the other stuff that he's done, because this is the one, I think this is the third, maybe fourth, I don't know, third, third or fourth song that I've heard of his. And on the white woman's Instagram one, he, he it was funny and playful and da da da, and then about two thirds in, he got to a bit about somebody's mum, and although it was funny and it was a stereotype, it shifted, and he was saying things that were quite emotionally invoking, I guess. And then on the chicken song, and this is going to sound funny, me saying this, but he created this whole sort of like story about a chicken. And then it got to the point of the chicken wanted across the road. But the backstory was this whole story of hope, of leaving this farm and becoming free. Funnily enough, I think it was going to be a dentist or something, but that's, that's not the point. The point, there's a bigger picture, you know, I'm not going to focus on the, the, the small pixels of the, the bigger picture because he's doing something really clever here. He's doing something really, really clever. Um, and especially in this one, what he just said then is insane. It's insane because he, he, like I said, he lures you in with comedy. He kind of he, he, he leaves a bread trail, breadcrumb trail, bread trail, whatever, and um, he lures you in and then attacks it with something like that, and you're a bit like. I'm a pussy, I put on a silly show I should probably just shut up and do my job So here I go Would they got the letters if I knew it wouldn't fit? Would they got the cheese if I knew it wouldn't fit? Would they got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit? Would they got them? You can tell them anything if you just make it funny, make it rhyme. And if they still don't understand you, then you will run it one more time. I think that I can handle this right. Good night. I hope you're happy. Wow. Wow. I wasn't expecting this kind of shit. Am I just being like, a, am I being like a proper just emotional flannel in the way I'm describing this? Because I was, I was just expecting, you know, like, you know, Flight of the Concords. Genius. Make me laugh. Very funny. Um, the other one, uh, the one that did the dick in the box and, and, and stuff, what's that one called? I can't remember what it, I can't remember what they called, they did the, the fuck me loud and genius stuff makes me laugh, but this has got like another, there's like a layer to it, it's, yeah, look, it's, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's amazing, that is amazing, make yourself happy, and clearly, is is what you said then about, like, I'm just a skinny guy, I should, fucking just get on my job instead of telling you shit. <laughs> Genius. Genius. Absolutely crazy. Very, very talented guy. He replicated what Kanye does, but with more emotion. <laughs> you know, like you said, Kanye's saying, oh, my fucking t-shirts aren't selling. And he's like saying about Pringles and burritos and then flipped it. Anyway, I can't really, I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. I'll get caught in a cycle and I'll keep going round and round and round and you'll be like, how long is this fucking video? So, without further ado, you know what to do. Make yourself happy. See you later, people. Sub the damn page. Laters.